Hey, welcome, guys. Yeah, so today, uh, let's solve, let's uh, keep on talking about the uniform convergence and the uh, differential. So basically, we proved two facts. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, I will post a link above, below. Yeah, so yeah, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Yeah, so previous that uh, we proved that the uh, uniform convert so fn converge to f uniformly, and uh, if fn is continuous. Then you can prove that f is continuous. That we already proved. And then the second is that when fn is converged uniformly f, and uh, suppose that each fn is can do the integration, then simply speaking, the f can do the integration. And then not only that, then you basically you can exchange the limit and the integral. Okay. And the third case, uh, which is what we're gonna to prove, is uh, you uniform convergence and differential. Yeah. So this one is a little bit tricky. It needs more assumption. Right, so theorem. Uh, suppose f n is uh differentiable. Let's say f n is differentiable. Right, this is the common. This is the I think the prerequisite, right? Because you need you want to study whether you can exchange the limit, uh, with the differential. So uh, assumption that f n should be differentiable. So right? suppose f n is differentiable on A B. And uh, so first condition. The second condition is that uh, let's say you already get some points. Let's say some points x x zero such that f and x zero converge. Okay, converge. Uh, yeah, converge. So as uh, n goes to infinity. Uh, for some points which x zero is just some points in A B. Okay, and the third condition is that uh, let's say f and prime right. So each is differentiable. So you can ask uh f and prime. Suppose f and prime converge uniformly on A B. Right to be something uh, which I don't care. I care you are G. Then the following uh the following two are correct. The first one is that uh, uh F n converge uniform. So I mean, so this theorem says that if the differential converge uniformly, then the function converge uniform. Okay. The second is that uh, you can exchange the limit. Okay, so this is the analog of the so right. So basically, uniform convergence solve everything. Uh, what we worried about. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go to a proof. Okay, so let's write down everything. Right. So we know that for epsilon greater than zero, uh, you can find n, right, such that when n min greater or equal to n, uh, you have uh, let's say f n x zeros minus f m x zeros x0 less than epsilon, let's say, divided by 2. The uh, reason is that uh, since uh, I use this, OK? OK, and now what we have is that also have fn prime minus fn prime. There's an epsilon 2 b minus a, right? I can find uh, such that uh, I can find another n, which is uh, such that this satisfied because fn prime converge uniform. So basically, I, I can choose whatever epsilon I choose, whatever epsilon. Right? So now I choose epsilon. My I choose my arrow to be epsilon divided by two b minus a. Okay. So this is for uh for every point. Let's say this is t and t, and for basically for every point t belongs to a b. So this is just I use this. And also, f is differentiable, right? So I already use uh, every two every three conditions. Uh, Okay, so let's uh let's see this. So I can write let's say let's go on to let's let me just compute this. Uh, okay. So what is this? So this is uh x x t t and n and m, right? So let's using the mean value theorem, right? So this the, the, the this uh uh let's see. So this will be something. Uh, you can find the points, right? So let's say uh, f n prime, let's say c, and then x minus t, and the plus something uh, another, right? So f maybe some c prime, uh, which x minus t, and you take the absolute value, right? But who cares? Because now each my difference. Oh, by the way, this is minus because there are minus some, right? So each difference is bounded by this, right? So you can actually bounded by this x minus t epsilon two b minus a. Okay, so definitely this is less than epsilon divided by two, right? Because t and x are both in AB. 
Okay, so uh, yeah, this is the condition that we need to remember. Okay, and then let's compute this. So let's pick X, so pick X. And I want to compute this. Okay, why I want to compute this? Because I want to first prove that these are uniformly convergent, right? So I need to bound this guy. Okay, and this guy is bounded by Fn of X minus Fm of X minus Fn X zeros plus Fm X zeros. I think now uh, you guys see a trip, uh, see, see a trick. Okay, so now this guy is bounded by epsilon divided by two, this guy is bounded by epsilon divided by two. So Fn coverage uniform. Okay, so we prove uh, we prove this. Okay, and the next uh, next we prove that uh, let's say we prove let's say we want to prove uh, the the differential can commute with the limit. And hopefully this is easy. Okay. Oh, by the way, six Fn converge uniformly, and I know Fn is a con continuous, right? Because it's differentiable, so I can I let limit to be F to be the limit of this. Okay, and then I know that F is continuous. Well, now I want to show that f is a differentiable. Okay. Okay. So now, now let's prove in this is uh the differential is the the differential can come in with the limits. So define a phi n of t to be uh f n of t minus f n of x t minus x, and the phi of uh t uh to be uh f n f of t minus f of x t minus x. Right. So remember that f is well defined. Right. Okay, now, uh, now obviously that the uh, limit uh, t goes to x, phi n of t will be f n prime of t, right? This is definition, okay? And uh, the previous, uh, the previous, uh, remember that the previous equation, right? The previous equation that I just, I just proved is bounded by uh, epsilon divided by two, right? So this, this equation, right? Right, as just can change into phi n t minus phi m t, right? Less or equal to epsilon two b minus a, right? You just because oh, by the way, this is just less or equal to x minus t epsilon two b minus a, right? So you can just you can just divide this x minus t, okay, to the uh, left hand side. Then you got this. Okay, so what 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 this means? What this means that the uh, phi n is uniform convergence. Okay, so by the previous results that uh, you can exchange your n goes to infinity phi n of t will be phi of t. Uh, by the way, this is your definition, right? But the but the you can exchange the limit, right? So basically. Now these the limits when t approach x will become f prime, right? So which you prove that uh, right, you can exchange this, right? So you can exchange this. Right. So basically you have shown that uh, this is limit n goes to infinity f n prime of t as x is the same as this, right? So this is just a uh, this is phi of t, right? So these become f prime of uh, x. Okay, yeah, very simple proof. Yeah, just write down every definition. Okay, that's it. Okay, so let's prove another theorem, which is interesting. Uh, although I, I didn't, I think it doesn't uh, so related. You, you need to use a uniform convergence to prove. Okay, so there exists a real function. Uh, continuous. There's a it is a continuous a real function. Let's say so R to I think R. Uh, continuous, but uh, nowhere differentiable. So basically, uh, you cannot you have a function which is continuous, but every every point is not differentiable. Okay, so when I was undergrad, uh, my professor uh, have some illustrated example which is a. Uh, uh, not rigorous, but you can imagine. So this is the zero step, first step, and you can go to the second step right, by uh by uh using this. So e so in the next step that each uh each 
uh, each function, uh, each will will we'll get something, get something uh, it's very strange, fra uh, fractional. So this becomes somehow like I I remember this cost uh, curve or something. And then you can prove that when n goes to infinity, this function is continuous. Okay, but uh, it's not differential. Okay, but uh, let's give it a, a formal construction. Okay, so uh, define phi of x to be x of the value and uh, from one to minus one to one and the periodic. So periodic, so I can extend it. I can extend it phi to all the real numbers by just periodic two, okay? So I just I just want to say so basically just least okay so obviously that your five s minus five t is less or equal to x minus t right because this is absolute value right so basically uh, from here you can get the phi is a uh, by the way so x minus t right this is bounded right so so you see this this tells you phi is continuous. Obviously, that things s goes to t and uh, it will goes to zero. Okay, so you can define your f to be summation n to zero to infinity three over four n phi four n x f of x. Okay, so this function f is uh, uh you you so you can check that it's continuous. Okay. Uh. Mm, yeah. And uh. So by definition, right, your phi of x is bounded by one, right? So you can check that uh, your f of x is bounded by a uh, summation n from zero to infinity three to divide by four n. So it means f of so the, and this is bounded, right? So f of x is well defined for each x, right? So this guy's well defined for each x, and it's bounded by some universal number, right? So which show that f is what f is a uniform convert uniform. Uh, sorry. Uh, if so, if you define, uh, if you define. Uh, if you define your f, this is your uh, let's say f of m, right? Then your f f of summation of of f of m as a series, right, is uniform convergence. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, your uh, uniform convergence. So by the previous theorem that uh, since this is uniform convergence, you know that f is continuous. Right. So this is the proof that why I say f is continuous. So you first prove this is well defined. And then you say each guy, right? And this is bounded, bounded uh, by a universal number. So this, this, and for each guy, this is continuous. And the uh, total, you prove that this is uniform convergence. So f is continuous. F is continuous. Okay. So we, I think f. So f satisfies this, uh, this condition. So the remaining proof is to prove that uh, this is a no hurt differential. Okay. So pick, let's say we pick delta m to be uh, plus or minus half, please. And uh, let's consider gamma m, gamma n to be phi for n x plus delta m minus phi for n x divided by uh, delta m. Okay, so notice that, uh, so obviously that for n times delta m will be a half, right? Okay, so let's say so when uh let's say when n greater than m uh, when n greater than m uh let's see so when uh, let's see oh, sorry this is m I'm stupid right so for n greater than m right you can easily show that four n times delta m is even right so that the uh, things is even right so by definition my phi n has periodic two. Right, so this tells you that uh, gamma n is zero. Okay, and uh, when uh, n less or equal to m and the greater or equal to zero. Okay, then the, I think right. So in 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 this case, that you can use a previous bound. Right, so previous bound tell you that uh, I have this. So that means uh, this uh, this gamma n is less or equal to four. Okay, so let's let's do some uh, estimation. So I I want to do I want to prove that these guys. Uh, let's check whether it's differentiable, right? So I need to I can check. I want to check this, and then try to see something, right? So now I take absolute value, and then this is summation uh, n from zero to m, right? Three divided by four, 
to earn rent by each turn will give you a gamma, right? So, uh, let's see. This is sorry. This is earn. This is F. Okay. Now this guy is greater or equal to what? Because when uh uh right. So when n equals to right. So when n equals to m, my n equals to m. Uh, let's see. So this when n equals to m. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's just see. Uh, let's say add. So it, okay. So let's see. If n equal equals to m, right? So when n equals to m, you get a file for n. Uh, sorry. You get file for n x. Plus four n times right, so they are the same is half, right? Minus five of four n x divided by delta a. Right, so uh, these two, uh, this is absolute value of this, right? So you can, uh, I think, if we take absolute value, and uh, let's say if you pick x to be zero, right? Then this you get five half minus zero, right? So you get uh. I think you get four m. Okay, so you can check gamma is always four. Okay. Uh, okay. So what? So that means when uh n equals to zero, right? You get the uh, three divided by. So when uh when n uh when n equals to m, you get this plus. Right, plus the final turn. I guess final turn is just zero. And this time is greater or equal to uh, the first guy minus the rest, right? So it's just this. Minus the rest, right? And uh, for the rest, that uh, for the rest, we just proved that gamma four is less or equal to four, right? So you can check this. Okay, so yeah, because this is up four to something, and then you cancel with this, right? So this is uh, three m minus n n from zero to m minus one, three m minus three n. Okay, and this guy is a half three m plus one. Okay, so basically we just show that uh, we we just show this guy right greater or equal to this, right for any m. Okay, but the uh, but the, what what this shows is that uh, so when your m very close when you when you that deal when you goes to zero let's say you have some you want to do a differential right you delta goes to zero and your delta will hit some delta m right because this m can be arbitrarily small right so the, so larger m will make delta m arbitrarily small right so which pr you prove that when uh, when your delta tries to go zero your delta is always hit something delta m. But this differential number is great, always greater or equal to some number, and this number is not bounded, right? So which proves that f is not differentiable. Okay, so yeah, that's it. So you can use the uniform convergence to construct a function which is continuous but no very differential. Okay, subscribe to my channel. See you guys. Uh, next video so next video we uh, i plan to talk about equicontinuous family and uh proof the r zeta ask theory which is uh very interesting see you guys in the next videos